Hey ladies, so here we go with another inexpensive wig. This one is by Sensational Impress and this is the Senegal Bantu Braids Knot Wig. I absolutely love this, she is so pretty. I do have the color number 430 right here and she's super natural. She is available at one of the best wig sites on the web which is sisterwigs.com there are some combs and an adjustable strap in this um unit however the lace that you see right here is very very minimal however you know what ladies we are going to work this unit to the best of our ability because i do think that she is a gorgeous unit and she's great for summertime winter time springtime fall time she's just a really great unit so as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and put her on. And it does call, it is called a Senegal Bantu braid wig. But there's no braids. They just look like Bantu knots or Senegal twists that were actually taken apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spread some of them open. And I'm only going to open the ones that's mainly on the surface because she's already very full as you can see. And I don't want her too full. However, I don't want it looking like I just took perm rods or some type of rods out of my hair. I want it to look very, very natural. So the one great thing about this unit is the hair mimics African-American um, hair. Um, not relaxed hair, but African-American hair that was just like Bantu knots or what have you. And she's really easy. But like I'm showing you here, I would suggest that you go ahead and just unravel a little bit at a time and only the ones on the surface. You do want to take out a little bit of leave out and even though there's not much parting space in this unit, girls, I'm going to make me some parting space because I do want her to look realistic. Now, what I would suggest beforehand is getting a tweezer and tweezing in a part. You will be putting a little bit of concealer on some of the hairs if you prefer your part to be a little bit longer. But if you want a part, I would suggest just to make your natural one and tweeze it. Now onto the strand maximizer, which is my hair filler fibers. And I love this stuff. You know, I used to use Topic, but I have moved on to greater and bigger things. The consistency of this, the fibers are a lot more thicker, which gives you better full coverage. There is a huge variety of colors in strand maximizer however the nozzle does not come with it but if you're not interested in purchasing the nozzle it does have a sifter a sifter cap so you can basically shake it out like if it was salt and pepper but one thing I would highly suggest is getting this uh, pump nozzle because it's awesome now I'm going to use some hair pins or bobby pins just to place the hair back a little bit away from my face because I really don't want it all in my face However, it's your preference. You can style it as you please. But for me, I'm just going to style her this way and just hook this baby right on up. And as well as that, use a little bit of more strand maximizer to get my edges to look a little bit thicker as well as that as make it blend in with my wig. Now, like I said, she is gorgeous and she is very, very full. The color is so pretty. Like I said, it's the color number 430. And Sensationalist colors 430 kind of remind me of like a number two. But for the most part, very, very gorgeous wig. And you can pick her up at sisterwig.com. I did cut a little bit of it, just a little bit of layers. But the hair is so bouncy. And this is where you'll see me just cutting just a little bit at a time. I'm just trying to layer it and make it mine so that way it's not all one even actual blunt cut. But yes, let's check out the rest of the video. I hope you girls enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos with SisterWigs.com. Okay, ladies, so yes, this is actually a pretty wig. You have to work with it, but it is really, really pretty. So Senegal, Senegal Bantu Braids is by Sensational Impress, and she's gorgeous. The color is a number 430. Now, beforehand, I would suggest just pulling the twist apart 
prior to putting it on so that way you can see the back so I'm not really sure what the back of mine looks like but I love the fullness like I said it's in a color F430 and this is their Senegal collection braided lace waist so there wasn't any braiding I just took it out but of course it looks like Bantu knots or Senegal's twist untwisted very pretty the hair fibers look just alike African American hair like non relaxed natural hair so it is very full the only thing that really was kind of disappointing was there was no part so if you really do want a part you're going to get like this little tiny bit of lace so the one thing i would suggest is kind of like tweezing some up in here and then placing your concealer you're not really going to get much parting space um but it is always good to try and you may end up putting some on the hair but other than that, I really think it's a cute, really cute wig. Very summer friendly. This will look so pretty with a maxi dress or something festive like I have one right here. Says she is available at sisterwigs.com so you can check her out amongst other styles. I do think there's a lot of different colors, but the model wore her really pretty. It wasn't pulled apart, but it still looked really pretty on her. But I like the more natural look once it's pulled apart. And you just have to play with it because they are big coiled curls, but they're so pretty and very bouncy. I wouldn't per se undo all of them, but just the ones that are more onto the top, more onto the surface, so that way you can get a more natural look. For the ones in the middle, I would just leave those coils alone and let them rest because once you start pulling them all apart it's going to get super big and it might kind of like frizz up so I would only deal with the ones that are more visible to the eye as well as in the back underneath I would leave those because they're so bouncy and you want them to stay and remain bouncy like that but it's very full of life like this is a beautiful unit and yeah I do like her you girls know I love big curly hair and being that it's hot out here this is like the perfect length for me it's not too long and it's not too short but it doesn't look like it's synthetic it looks natural so if I was trying to get away with something this would be one that I would highly suggest for you girls so let me know what you think of this unit I place all the information for you girls below and if you're interested in really inexpensive cosmetics you can check out sister21.com which is sister week sister site as well as that as all the information for other websites as well as this unit will be posted for you girls below so on that note make sure you rate comment subscribe make sure you thumbs this video up and as always stay diva and delicious and i'll see you girls on my next video